this is your RC coupled amplifier. So it has given you the instructions. The source voltage is set to 50 millivolts. Just remember this. Take out your notebooks. VI is 50 millivolts and the input frequency is 1 kilohertz. Take the screenshot of this. So, this says the instruction. The instruction says, yes, keep it the source voltage constant to vary the frequency from 50 hertz in the regular steps. Set the source resistance as 100 ohms. Make a note somewhere. Set the collector resistance to RC to 4000 ohms. Then the emitter resistance to 1000 ohms. The emitter resistance is connected to 1000 ohms. Then uh, load resistance is 2000 ohms. The load resistance is 2000 ohms. Just remember that. Those instructions. Remember all those things. RC, RS, RB, RE is 1K, RL is 2K, RB1 is 47K, uh, and R2 is uh, V2 is 10K. The coupling capacitors are 10 microfarads each. Coupling capacitors are 10 microfarads each. So having fixed these values, Let's fix RS. RS is expected to be fixed at 100 ohms. So as you change, you are able to change this. Yeah, that's 100 ohms. Then RC, uh, next RB1. You are expected to give RB1 is equal to 47. Where is RB1? RB1, 47K. K. is 10k. So 10,000 ohms. Ten thousand ohms. Next RC. RC you are expected to keep 4k. So RC 4k. 4,000 ohms. Ohms. Then RE is 1K. RE 1000 ohms. So, um, 
thousand words, right? Oral, oral is two k. There is oral. Two thousand ohms. It's about two thousand ohms. That's what it is. C E. C E. Can someone tell me what was the C E? Just go to instructions. The coupling capacitor CC1, uh, CC1 is 10 microfarads. CC2 also coupling, these two, CC1 and CC2 are called coupling capacitors. So, it's also 10 microfarads. One of you please show me, tell me, so all CE words. C so is uh, bypass capacitor. Uh, the bypass capacitor also is 10 microfarads. So, also is 10 microfarads. Okay. So now you have to vary the frequency from 50 hertz. So where are you? This is your frequency. Fix it at 50 hertz. This is 50, starting with 50. Now let us see, add to the table. So for 50 hertz, the power is directly calculating the power. So actually we plot a graph between frequency and the output voltage. Uh, output voltage by input, that is a gain. Gain versus frequency is what we plot. So in this particular lab, he is directly calculating the power at the output. And the power is measured in what is the unit is known as decibel. So the plot what you get is a frequency plot. For different frequencies, you will be plotting this. And after you plot the graph, the graph contains three parts: the low frequency, the mid frequency, and the higher frequency. Then from this power, you consider 70.7 percent of the maximum. It cuts the graph at two points along the x-axis, draw the perpendiculars, find out the frequency at which this power is becoming 70.7%. That is when the power is getting reduced to half. They are also called as half power points. Then calculate the bandwidth. Okay. So let us perform this experiment. So 50 is this. Now increase it to 100. Maybe we will start with uh, 500. You will need so many points, so you can. I will just show you how to do, then you can add. 500, uh, 500. You can prepare this tableau column in your notebook serial number, frequency, and magnitude. Uh, copy down the values what I am giving. You can do the experiment once again. You must do the experiment once again. I am just uh, showing you how to do this. Then, uh, 1000. increasing as you can see the power is increasing as the frequency is increasing next uh, uh, 500,000 let's put 1500 yeah I am taking these values so it's again increasing now the increase is less from 10 it became 28 from 28 it became 32 now we should be very careful it is a slow increase next 2000 2000 it's almost Fairly constant, 2000. Next, 
Okay, roughly like that. So, 33.7, slight increase. 67k still mid band still constant tk tk or something still now it is reduced see from 34.38 it is reduced to 2.34.27 so it's falling now let me take Before and then uh, eighty seven K thirty eight thirty four point eleven reducing. Uh, so let me add this change the frequency it says add to the table. Reducing. What am I taking? Almost. It's reducing. This is 300 kilo. Oh, how much kilohertz? 3000 kilohertz. That means 3 megahertz. This is. Just remember the scale. It is reduced. 3 megahertz it is reduced. That means 7 megahertz. See, there is a sharp fall. Then, uh, what have I taken now? What is the frequency? 240 kilohertz. From the 30 second, 6, it is again reduced. The last value, I 
maximum value I am taking 500 megahertz. It's fine. So what's happening as you can see, it's increasing, increasing up to 33, 34. Uh, from 3000 onwards, it's fairly remaining constant. Till what point is remaining constant? Till 90, 959 kilohertz, it is remaining constant. It is falling at what value? This value. What is this value? 3000 kilohertz. That means 3 megahertz, 7 megahertz. It is started falling. This is the final value. Have you all followed this? I will make you people do now. First, let us see. Now, Say plot. A beautiful graph you are able to get. Take the screenshot of this. The mid band region is from this point to almost this point. The mid band gain is this. The lower cutoff frequency, what is the lower cutoff frequency? 5k, almost 5k, where it is. Uh, the higher cutoff frequency is 2 into 10 to the power 7. That means uh, if you write it as 10 power 6, it will be 20 megahertz almost. Beautiful graph you are getting, a very good bandwidth. Bandwidth is higher cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency. So 5k is lower cutoff frequency. Uh, the higher cutoff frequency is 200k. So almost 150 kilohertz is the bandwidth. Just make a note of this. Take the screenshot of this. So what you have to do is I have already created an assignment. This is uh, an online. All of you are expected to do this. Uh, you vary from 50 hertz, it is only virtual uh, lab that you are doing. So, from 50 hertz, for every I think 100 hertz you can take, 50, 100, 150, many points, as many points as you take, your graph will be as close as possible and you will be able to get. So, what you should do is, uh, what is the maximum gain you are getting? Maximum gain is 34 points something. Take 0 0.7707 7 of 0 0.34. How much it will be? Point seven out seven of 34. 0 0.707 into let me take it as 34. Roughly I am taking 24. So what you should do is around 24. So at 24, somewhere around here, you draw a line parallel to x-axis. If you draw a line parallel to x-axis, it is cutting at this point as well as this point. Draw perpendiculars, they will give you to x-axis. So I repeat, after plotting the graph, Take the screenshot. The procedure I am telling you. 34 point is the maximum point. Uh, again, take 70.7 percent of the maximum. That is this value. Draw a line parallel to x axis. It will cut at this point and this point. This is called the lower cutoff frequency. You can hold here, you will know. And this is your upper cut of frequency which is already given to you. So calculate bandwidth. Bandwidth is high frequency cut off minus low frequency. You can even print it. Then take it as a PDF and save it. Yeah. The base resistance um, has as per the instruction, the base resistance should be taken 47 kilo ohms. Oh, uh, starting is uh, 100 kilo Base, base, this is source resistance. Yes ma'am, uh, the base resistance. Uh, base resistance. Four point. Four? Four point. Uh -huh. 
frequency responses different lower cut off frequency higher cut off frequency and mid band gain we will observe the readings all of you this is uh, are you all able to see it on your mobile so if you finished copying what i expect you people to do is take three different sets of readings three 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 different uh, values of your resistances different frequency ranges plot the graph take the screenshot you have to tabulate these results also tabulate the results and take a screenshot of this figure and all put them all together in one single pdf file and upload it as an assignment i would like to see how you are getting it if you all have followed what i would like to do is now i want one of you 